In this video, I'll be showing you three methods of modeling block work using SketchUp. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel. My name is Steven. As I said earlier, in this video, I'll be showing you three methods of modeling block work using SketchUp. In this SketchUp tutorial, we dive deep into the world of architectural modeling by exploring three different techniques for creating realistic block work. Whether you are an aspiring architect, a 3D modeling enthusiast, or just curious about SketchUp, this video has something for everyone. So let's get started. As I said earlier, in this video, we'll be talking about three modeling techniques for block work. The first technique we'll be discussing here is push pull method. Push pull method. So, push pull method is your best friend when it comes to creating block work. Learn how to a street face to craft work of various thickness. So, in my previous video, I've I've done video about push put tools, about push put shortcuts, how to undo push put tools. So you can check the description of this video video below to watch the video. So and this drawing, this drawing is I imported from my AutoCAD. I've done video about how to import from AutoCAD to SketchUp. You can check the description of this video too to check how to import from AutoCAD to SketchUp. So let's get started. I want to copy this one. For me to copy, press M, press your control. Press your control. So let's get started. So this one, this one is in. This one is in group. So for it, for us to enter this group, double click. So all this one, all this one that is not close, we need to close it. For us to close, you can just use your L. Close it. You see? Okay, close it. Use your L to close. We need to close it for us to make block wall. Close it. This one, so I want to close it. Close it. Let me close this. This one is not closing. So if you guess, if you notice that it's not closing, use your R rectangle to close it. Close it. So let me use L for this one. Close it. This one too. Close it. This one to close it. This one. Close it. This one. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. Close it. That one is not closing. I don't know. Okay. Let me close it here. Let me close it. Okay, let me use the rectangle to it is not closing. Close it to delete. Delete it. So this one too. This one too. I want to close them use rectangle to close it. Let me use line to here. It's not closing. Use your rectangle to it's not closing. Use your rectangle to okay, this one. If you notice that it's not closing, instead of line, you can use your rectangle tools to close it up. This one too, close it. This one too, close it. This one, close it. Or this one, close it. Close it. This one, let me use rectangle tools. Close it. Delete this one. Close it. This one too. I want to close it. Close it. This one too. Close it. Delete. We have closed this one too. Let me close it. Close it. 
use your rectangle tools too. If it is not closing, use your rectangle tools. So let me delete this one. Close it. So I've it's like I've closed everything. Let me let me close this side too. Close this side. It's not closing. Use your rectangle tools. Close it. Close it. So I've closed it now. So for me to if if you notice all this brown, all this gray gray color is going to affect your rendering. So you need to reverse it. Reverse it. Reverse face. So you should reverse it, press it, right click, reverse face. This one too, press it, right click, reverse face. This one too, right click, reverse face. This one too, right click, reverse face. This one too, reverse face. Reverse face. Reverse face. On this one. Reverse face. Reverse face. Reverse face. Reverse face. This one. Reverse face. Reverse face. Reverse face. Reverse face. Reverse face. Reverse face. This one too. Reverse face. 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 On this one. Reverse face. Reverse face. Reverse face. So I've done it. So for us to make block one now. So for us to we want to use the push tools now. We want to use the push tools. So for us to use the just the short course is P on in the interface. This is the push tools. This is the push tools. But for the short course, just press your P once. Press your P. Click where you want to push. Press your P and push it up. So I'm going to be pushing by 3.3. You press the 33, press enter. Instead of you to come here again and press 3.3 .3 to go up just double click you get it double click is in the 3.3 .3 already double click it double click it is in 3.3 .3 already double click if it's noticed that it's not going you can just push it up just comes that is another method again if you notice that it's not going just come the one that you have drawn already, place it. Just let it rhyme like this. Place it like this. This one too. The one you have drawn already, you can just notice it. Place it. Or you can use your double click. You have drawn it. Use your double click. Use your double click. So this one too. Double click. Double click. This one. Double click. This one, double click. Double click. It's in 3 three. If you notice that it's not going up, just you can just push it to yourself. Take it to the side. This one too. Comes, you notice. You see? We just place it like this. So that is our way. We push, we have pushed this wall up now. So we have pushed this wall up. We want to want to do some so let's continue as i put this wall, wall up want to this one too want to push it up but later i will i'm going to discuss about let me push this one up too push it up Push it. Let me control Z. This one. This one now. For us to, you can just make it to make it, to make this one group. Double, double click it. Make group. You see, this one too. 
double click make group so this one now i can just now work on this this one push i've pushed it so this one this one is in group double click we want to be to be let me just drop it like this first instead of us to come to this second one do it like that can just copy it since we are make it group copy it press your m control put it hope you get it press your m control put it so this is how we do it so we want to be putting we want to show window our window window interface we want to put our window now so for us to put window we are just going to put the frame of we are not going to put window we are just going to demarcate how our window is going to be so for us to do that we are going to be doing like this this one this one is the sorry this this is the toilet so this one let me just i'll be using 900 900 this toilet i'll make it 1000 make it 1000 so press your r push this one No, it's not. I'm I'm using the inside one. So this one, press on, push it, push it here. So this one too. Okay, one thousand. Draw the one thousand. This L. Push it. So that is for my. To measure is dice C. C is for measure is for measurement for taking me that press your C in your keyboard. So I've created face for that window. I want to create them for this side too. This one, press your T, click it and press the height you want to want it to be here. I want to make 900, 900. This one too. Click it down. I want to make it 1000. Press it. So for this one, just show the face again. Show the face, push it. So after you are done, press your E. Now press your E in your keyboard to erase it, to erase unwanted parts. So there's there's block wall here. There's block wall here. Let me create a block wall. There's there's block wall here too. So reverse the face. This one reverse the face too. So I want to push this one up, push it up, push it up, this one too, you can just double click, it's going to go up, so erase it, okay, here too, I want to make it, here is my entrance, so no, let me, don't let me do the entrance, say here, there is window here, I want to create the space, 900, this from down to 900, So, I want to push it, push it here, this one, let me draw it here again, do some the same thing, for you to get the, if you draw the line, you are going to see one red, it's going to show one red, that, that means correct, but if you are drawing vertical or horizontal, it's going to show blue, so that means the line is straight, if it's, if it's not giving this line, that means the line is not straight. So push it. This one to push it like this. Erase this one. Erase. Erase it. So this one too. I want to create my wall here. I want to create it. So press your C nine hundred. Nine hundred. Press your L. So you, you see that this side is showing green line. This side is showing green line. That side is showing red line. So notice it. It must bring a line. If it's not bringing the line, that means not correct. Let me go back. Place it here. Like this one. If I draw, if, if it's if it's bringing line 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 like this black line, it's not bringing the red line. This 
the green that means if it, if it bring is going to if the drawing bring this green that means correct so this one press it place it place it there's another window here there's another window here too there's another window here so let me place it so place this one Is this one so we have created the window we've created the window so here here is the wardrobe here is for wardrobe you can just draw design of the wardrobe so here here we have window for, for our toilets window for our toilets or combination so here i'll be using 900 again 900 put it down 600 that is the space of the window draw it draw it this one push it push it to double click if you have used push pull once instead of you to be to use it to use to press the thing just double click it's going to still take you there so here here it is okay let me use the same the same thing is the same Push it 900. 900. Push it. I'm going to create the 900 again. Push it. Double click. Delete this space. Delete this space. So this one. This one too click it see 900 see 900 push it erase this one erase to erase you wanted but that, that is e all this line all this my net line, so I'm going to going to raise it. I don't need it. Erase it. This one, this window too. This C 900. This one 900 upward again. So press your line. Press it. This one push it. Double click. Double click it. This one is toilet. Those this 600. That is convenience. 600. This one, let it go. Click it. Click it. This one, push it. Push it like this. Double click. Double click. So, erase this one. Erase this one. Here, I have like. Here, I just want to create like shading device here. That is why I put it there. So, I'm still going to come back to it. Let me just create this space. I'm still going to come back to it. To create a shading device there. So this side too. Click it. 900. Here. Yeah. 900. Nine hundred. So click it. 900. Click push this one double click this one too click it click it this one 900 just push it erase erase it so this one too want to create window here this 900 too 900 yeah 900 click it so push it drag it drag and drop it drag and this one too click it draw a line drag drag and drop 
this one to draw a line drag and drop this one so erase all unwanted unwanted parts erase it so we have created this one here i've been using 600 for for this side this is 600 okay there's one window here c 900 600 so click it use it so push this one so i've created window there so there's window here too this one 900 okay there's one 900 and that one is the same size with this one now i'll be using 1000 the same size with it draw a line push this one up push this one drop it do double click so erase all wanted part erase all wanted part so you see now you have created block wall using push puts so here i want to put like my Act my so there's this here is I want to make it 600 line push if you are getting it so push this one too let me drag this one down a bit Let me delete this one. I want to drag this one by 600. See? 600. So I want to drag it down. Double click. If you want to enter a group, double click. So just drag it. Click click what you want to drag. Drag it. This is 100. Is where I drop it. So instead, of, you just copy. Enter the group copy and copy it. Erase. Yeah. See, now it's 600. Draw your rectangle. Click it. Now it's 600. That is 600. That is 600. Hope you get it. So, I know that thing. Another thing in push put to Another thing in push put that I discover is that you can draw something like this. Maybe, for instance, there is another techniques for push puts. Let me let me put this one down. Let me let me just let me use the techniques here. Let me use the techniques for the another thing in push puts. Let me let me just draw a rectangle like this. Offset. I want to offset 150. Reverse this face. Reverse this face. So another technique. Instead of using that technique, if I was using this one, I'm showing. I've, I want to show you two method using push puts for block on let me show you another method so this method you can just draw something like this maybe you maybe there's block wall here let me 150 150 line 
so erase it b there's one block for you see 150 so line so this is another technique for push puts now so for instance you push this place let me draw for instance you push this place up by 3 3 meter this 3 meter so this one instead of you to come and push this place up again instead of you to come and push this one again you can do something like this since you have pushed this side up since you have pushed this side up just just press your control press it click it and drop it and drop it here hope you get it click it you see it has created a face so we can just continue this one too you can just drop it here drop it at this side press your control it's going to bring one star like this so drop it you see that it's created another face so we can just continue hope you guys get it hope you get it maybe there's one entrance here i want to draw it press your control press it maybe maybe it's 150 you see it's created a face here so you can just draw another thing here click it this one press your control drop it drop it so we can just draw what here you can just block it drop it press your control it's going to bring star put it here so you see this one too drop it press your control so that is push puts you can just choose any method from this one and this rectangle one hope you get push puts now so let me let me just round it up you see press it click here for us to get this side instead of us to be put, put this one up just press your control press it so and push this one click it maybe there's one wall here then there's one wall like this side press your control press the size of the wall 150 click on press enter so first just you can just draw it click it so this one can just continue maybe there's another wall here wall here just press your control it's going to bring star press the size of the 150 click it so you can just create space hope you get it now so you can just choose any any of these two methods for push pushes and create your block work. so i just got that when i'm doing this i need to include this to this tutorial so that is it here i want to put i want to put war here so i want to put war here so the year is to this side so I, want, I, I will be using the method now press my control click it i want to this side you see that's created the wall i will just need to bring it to this side you see you guys get it see that we have created a wall now using push puts so here i want to create like slab here that is my this is my 600 600 i want to create like 150 slab so i will just create this rectangle delete then make it group make group so we just click it i will let it to end here so i will use that method again press it press your control no okay press your control and drop it so i'm going to create a face so you can just is a thing that you can just push put here push to this side you see this one too you can just press your rectangle you can just push it push it to this side so created a slab there you see i've created a wall now using push puts can just use any of these two method for your push puts hope you get it but i think 
I think this one will be more faster. I think this one will be faster than this. So I just want I just went through this race to make it clear before I come to this easier method. Hope you get it. So let me put my I want to put the foundation now. The foundation slab. I want to put the foundation slab now. So for us to do it, we can just do it like this. Press our line. We'll be placing it like this. So you won't enter the group. Just I want to. You won't enter the group. Just draw line around it like that without entering the group. So I want just to get it. So I want to put the foundation. Love you. I'm going to see what I mean now. Take it away. So let's try to balance it. I have drawn the shape now. Why is it not? Okay. Let's try to do something. Like the problem is here. Let me use rectangle then. So that is how we have balance it now. Delete. Okay. It's like there's problem somewhere. Let me redraw it. Let me redraw it. Click it. Hello. So there's problem. So so after you get it, just move it. Move it outside. Move it outside. And reverse the face. Reverse face. So I want the foundation, I want to make it like 450. Just pull it up. Push it up. Press your click the face. Press your P. Press one 450. 450. Click enter. Let me delete this one. So now make it group click everything make it right click make it group group so we can just come come here and place it you can just click this edge and come and place it under our drawing so that is our foundation so that is our foundation so we are done with push put push put to thickness this push put to thickness now we are done with it so the next Techniques we'll be discussing now is is group method. Group method. So we are done with push put te two techniques. This is how you are going to draw your wall using push put tools. So in uh, this push put tools, I, I show you two method. This method, this method, the, the method using pressing your push pull and control, and the one just pulling up. I show you two method. Listen attentive to it very well. Studies very well. I show you two method. Method using your push push tools with control, and the one just pushing like that up. So that is the second method we'll be discussing now is group method. I've done tutorial concerning group, how to use group. So you can check the description of this 
video below to check how to use group too. So let's see how we are going to use group. The second method, which is, which is group. So let me just copy this drawing. This is the same drawing. So this one is push through method. It's still the same thing, but it's group method. So this is the drawing now. We are going to be using group method. So group method, building or using group can make your modeling workflow more efficient and organized. Discover how to create a manipulate group to design block work with ease. We also touch on the advantage of this method. So I'm going to touch the advantage of this method in this group method. So let's get started. Explode. Okay, let, let it be inside the group. So I'm inside the group now. So for me to create, I want to create a rectangle inside this group. Double click. Don't, don't, don't let me let me use this side. Rectangle. Reverse the face. Double click. Make group. So I've made that one group now. So for me, so just double click. Press 900. That is my window. Just be looking. 900. You see now. We are inside the group. So for us to continue in this group method, you are going to do just copy. For us to copy, press your M. Press your control. See this group method. You see? I've copied. I've copied, I've pressed my M. So for us to meet this size, scale it. For us to scale this one, press your S. You see, you are drawing it. So, this one to copy it. Copy. Press your control copy. So, scale it. Scale it. Press your control copy. Move this one out. So rotate it. Rotate this one. To rotate it, this rotate. Make sure it's in this blue. Blue. Let it be. Let it be on this blue. This blue one. For you to rotate. Click it. So move this one. M. Move it. If you guys are getting it. So move it. So we are we are drawing it. So that is how we are going to be. That is how we are going to be using this this method. Okay, let me let me just push this wall up. Let me push this wall. Up. Since it's 3.3, we are using 3.3. 3.3. So I want to scale it so. This is my that is my 3.3. If you measure it, you see that. It's in 3.3. You see. So this one, so I want to scale it. Scale this one. Scale it. This one too. Three point three. Hope you are getting this group method. So, in the comment section, out of the three techniques, the one you like most, just. Comment the one you like most in the comment section of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. I do video like this every week. If you find this video very interesting, like and subscribe for more actual insight like this. So let's continue. Scale this. I want to scale this one. This one. Move it. Press your M. Control. Press it. Scale it.
So this one to M. Scale it S. This one, copy this one. M. Scale it S. This one, copy this. Let me copy this. M. X. That is scale. S is for scale. Let me copy this. M. You are getting this. So that is it. This one. No, let me let me draw this one back scale. Let me just move this one X. So balance this on X scale. Scale. So this one. This one too. Just copy this. Scale it. This one. Scale it S. This one. Copy it. Scale it. X. This one, copy it. Put it. Scale it X. Yeah, just copy this one. Copy this. Let me copy this. It. Scale it X. Copy this. Copy this M. Place it. Place it. Scale it. Scale it. This one too. Copy, copy it, put it here, scale it, scale it, place it, this one too, copy it, place it, this one, okay, let me scale it, scale, scale is S, place it, this one, scale, scale, scale this one, let me just copy this one, move it here, scale it's X, hope you guys are getting it, this group method, modern block one. this one, And just scale it outside. So, yeah, we need this one. Draw it. Put it. Scale it X. This one too. Move it. 
scale is x this one this one draw it x scale it this one too draw it scale it m move it control to copy let it this one scale it this one copy scale it this one too copy copy it this one copy it scale it x this one too copy scale it this one too copy M control scale it X. Hope you guys are getting it. I know that this group method may be very stressful for you, unlike that pushful method. So, this one copy. Scale it. This one too. Copy. Scale it. X. Copy. Scale it. X. This one, this one too. Let me copy one. Let me copy this. Copy M, scale it X. This one, copy M. Scale it X. This one. Copy. Copy this. Scale it. This one copy. Scale it. Okay. Let me scale it X. This one. Copy. Scale it X. This one. Copy. Scale it. Also scale it. Okay, let me just bring this one. Copy. Scale it X. Scale it. This one copy. Scale it X. This one, copy, copy, scale it, X, this one, 
copy so let me just get this one right this one copy copy this and scale it x this one copy it scale it x this one copy it get it this one copy scale it x this one copy this one copy scale it x copy this scale it x we are going to scale it choose that center one for you to scale it we are going to be choosing this center one for you to scale it so let me just scale, it, scale this one let me copy this it scale it x let me copy this scale it x let me copy one copy this x X. So we are getting the this one. This one we are going to make it group. Let's reverse the face. Make it group. So we just pull it up. This one to make it group. That space. So we just copy it. So once we do the window, the windows live now. The window is. When this now under just copy, copy this. Make that is nine hundred. Scale it R. Nine hundred. Scale it X. Scale it. Target the center. You're going to see one red. Put it so that is how we are going to do the window 900 so just move this one up this one copy so we have created the window space for that one so this one just copy it let's just, just, just copy it once we used to press the two press your control so m and just choose the up control so i've created window that side so this one too just copy this one I want to scale it 
scale it. No, the size of window here is 1000. 1000. So scale it. Scale it. So here too, just copy, copy this one. Sing the entrance door for years now. Okay, copy. Yo, you are getting it. So you are still in group method. So this one, copy it. Scale it. Yeah, that is 900. Nine hundred, yeah. See, nine hundred. Scale it. X scale. Now scale it. So delete this. This one to so bring it down. So here is 900, see, here is 1000, scale this one, X, delete this, so this one too, draw it, hope you guys are getting this, I know this one may be very stressful for you. So I just need to show you the detail method. The detail method will be useful. Use, useful for you when drawing your block for beginner. Drawing your block, or it will be useful for you. So try to know how to draw the detail method. So this one too. Just move it down. So scale it. Scale it to this side. Scale it to that side. So there's one block wall. Okay, I've not created M. Scale it. So there's wall here. Let me create. Scale it X. This one, this one is 900, 900, so scale it up, X, scale it up, this one, so here is 600, see, this one is, So that is it. Let me create like this one. Scale it M. Copy. Six hundred, six hundred. So scale it X. Scale it X. So here too, they have something like that. Let me just find one to copy. Let me copy this M. Scale it. That is 600. X. Scale it X. So I can just move this one up. X X D 
this also. This one. X move it up, scale it X. Hope you guys are getting it. So, this side, too. this window side, you see the same thing. Move it. X move it down so this one copy the two so it's the same thing this one too copy it scale it X This one, copy it. Size nine hundred. Okay. So this one is the same thing. Just copy the two. I guess this one will be same thing too. Copy the two. This one, this one is different. And just copy it. Copy this. Scale this one up. Since this one is 600. Scale this one up X. This one. This one. Let me copy this. This. And this. Scale it. Then copy. Let me copy this two. Are we still going to adjust it? Let me copy this two. Let me copy this two. Hope you guys get it. You see now, we have created block wall using group group method. We use group method only. To create block wall so to put okay still want to put thing here this one 600 600 there's 150 here 150 so for us to create that let me just copy scale it x So this one to scale it. So just draw it. Draw the one in the center. So choose this one. So copy this. Scale this one. Scale it. Yeah. So we are done. We are done with group method now. So this is how you are going to for your group method. This is how you are going to do it. This is how you are going to this is modern techniques for group method. Modern modeling of block or using group method. So you see the same thing, just come on. Copy this one. Reverse it. And do your block work. Reverse, put your 1450, 450, make it group, okay, it's in group already, so let's copy, copy this, 
and paste it you see now see that this and this this and this they are, they are the same thing so that is the second method that is how we are going to that is how we are going to do block war using group method so the third one we'll be discussing here is using plugin we'll be using plugin that is the plugin name is make this the business mock plugin that is make this this one is the simpler method that is why I, I i'm going to do it last this is the simpler method so plugin plugin can be super change your sketchup experience we introduce you to the make face plugin and demonstrate how it's simplified the process of converting line and edge into face so goodbye to tedious manual face creation so through this plugin method it's very simple so after you have known this make face method you are going to say goodbye to manual method of creating your wall so let's use the so let's get started with the make face method which is the plugin so let's use it for us to use it we are going to explode explode this face you know that all some of this line is not close for so you will notice that if we if we click we are for us to use the plugin click every explode this face if it's in group explode it click everything if you click everything this is the make face this is the make face plugin i'm going to make the make face plugin in the description of this video below i'm going to the link to the make face plugin i'm going to drop it in the description of this video below so for us to use the make face click everything this is the make face like you see now make face if you, are, if you click it just press make face you see all your face is as make face just click it and reverse it if you, if you notice that it's bring all this gray reverse it you see so we have make it face very simple easy peasy lemon squeezy so we are going to just for us to do that just pull it up pan 3.3 just continue Continue from there. Continue. 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 See that this one is very very easy. That is why I'm going to do I do it last. Continue. Be double clicking it. So we have created it. Want to create our want to create our wall, our window side now. Want to create our window side? Just click. Measure it's nine hundred. See nine hundred nine hundred. Draw its line line. Press it. Click this one. Press it, push it, drag it, double click. So the same thing here. So this one. So there's one okay. This one is nine six hundred. I mean this one six hundred. Draw it. Press it. delete this this one is 900 rectangle r r is for rectangle push it this one is 1000 press your l push it so delete delete this one it up if you notice that you want to push it it's not pushing you just press your control so I want to create window here again this one see 900 
1000 so just create it press this one so this one too draw it click it push this one this one is 1000 okay it's the same thing just click it drop it here see this one this 900 so draw your line press it here is 600 draw it don't forget to like and subscribe this video if you get it it's very interesting I do video like this every week so this one too make it group double click pan it this one too make group pan it so you can just easily copy copy it and paste it in on the edge of this one this one delete okay see 900 line pan see 900 line pan it this one too see 600 R on it this one too is my entrance door so this one too This one, just pan it. Pan it, delete. You got getting it. So this one, this is hundred. Okay, let me just draw it. I'm going to be using that plugin method. Click it. Press your control down. The, I'm going to be using that that push group to method. Just press your P, press your control, drop it. So you can just come here, click it. You are getting it. So this one too. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. L. Click it. Push this one. This one to L. Push this one. Delete this one. So this one too. There's shading device here. This is 600. 150. Just click its R. Make it make it group. So I can reuse it in case you want to reuse it. Click it to this side.
So just draw your line. This one. You notice that everything is in one group now. I can just easily copy it. Copy to another side again. That is why group is very important. I can easily copy it and use it in another side again. So let me delete this one. Delete this. This one. 900. This one. 600. Press your L. Push this one. 600. Delete this. I'm not supposed to delete this. But let me. Okay. See? 900. 900. Draw your line. You see? Red. Let me show that red line. I mean, the line is correct. Delete this. Delete that. So, this one, I want it to go here. Let me just click the two. X, move it up. Let me still use that as once again. Yes, this is how I want to do life. We are getting it. So this one too. There's one. Make make group. Let me see. Drop it like this. We are getting it. So, we are in the last, we are in the last techniques of using block wall. So, let me, let me run it up. So, see, 900, this one too, 900. Push this one. This one, push this one, see, 900, 600, push this one. you are done you just need to erase it or all, all this line you don't need erase it use your use to erase it away so yeah click it and this one It. All the unwanted aspects delete it so your work to make your work more neater. So, still the same process. Come, copy this, and make make this one group. Make group. So reverse this face and make it group. Double click four fifty pan. That is for foundation four fifty. So just move it. 
drag it inside like this so you see you have created Okay, you know why you know showing up not in the group. You get it. So this is the drawing now. We have used three method. You have used three techniques to make block wall. We use the first method we use, we use push put two techniques, the second method, group techniques, and the third method, plugging, which is make face. So in the comment section, you can just comment below the method you like most out of the three method. The method you like most out of the three method. Let me place it beside each other so let me place it beside so we have used this three method now so in the comment section just comments in the comment section the method you like most out of the three method so whether you are crafting a 3d model or a dream home working on school projects or holding your architectural skills these techniques will come in handy so with these techniques you are ready to level up your sketch up game so for you to know more, hit that like button, subscribe for more SketchUp tutorial like this. So this is it for, this is the three method of making block work. So thank you for watching, watching this video. God bless you. See you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do video like this every week. See you in the next video. Bye bye. God bless you.